Hello everyone and welcome to Ubuntu Lost Videos. In this video I will be showing you how to manage files, folders, and so on. So let's go with the basics. Um, we have different files on the computer. We have documents, we have music, we have videos, and we have pictures. Now the thing is, how do we organize all of these different files into the respective areas so that we can find everything quickly and easily? Well many, fi many systems do this. It's basically putting them in different folders so we can fi find them efficiently. Now, let's go ahead and begin. Going into Places and going into Home will open up a new folder. This folder will be called the Home folder because this is where the beginning of all your files are. In here we can see the Desktop, which is back here, Documents, Downloads, Music, Pictures, Public, and so on. Now you can put the files that pertain to each of these subjects inside here and they'll be stored as so. <coughs> and it can most of the time uh, Firefox as well when Firefox the internet browser downloads files that we put in the downloads area so you don't have to scatter and save them into different places so this is the basic idea you put your documents here downloads in here music in there and so on uh, applications such as the music player also look into this directory for actual music and video players and movie players will look into this directory so it's all organized with applications as well now in here we can notice something on the left side uh, and here we have basically bookmarks. Right now the user is selected, depicted by uh, the user name. In this case it's user and it's also depicting the home folder. On the very Underneath that is the desktop, then we have the file system, then we have network folders, folders around us, then we have other mediums connected to the computer, then the trash, and then underneath here are a set of bookmarks that are given to us as our uh, where do we store our files. Now if you notice, underneath places, these bookmarks here are the same as down here. So let's say if we want to add another bookmark, simply drag and drop, and that will be added to the area here as well. So it will be kind of customizable to what you want to see there. So right click and remove if you want to take it out. That's basically it for organizing all your files in a manageable way. So let's go ahead and begin with other things. Uh, let's say you want to get a file from your USB, your CD, or maybe even an SD card from your camera what do you do? Well the basic part is to simply plug in the USB and it will be automatically recognized by the computer and it will be shown on the desktop as you will see and it will be shown in the folder that opens up automatically with all the stuff inside. Now one way you can manage files is simply just to drag and drop to the desktop or any other folder to copy those files onto your computer and now you can simply right click and eject and now you have this file which you were looking for and you can put it anywhere on the computer you can unplug your USB and this file is still available to you what about other things well let's do an SD card those are instant as soon as you plug it in and there it is and notice one thing on the very left here right here we can see also the same thing the same uh, basically name for this this is the SD card and we can simply eject it using this button as well but this is just a bookmark and you also find it under places right here so there's different ways you can get to the actual files folders and devices we can press the eject and it'll be safe to remove right now and for one more example I will be putting in a music CD and it'll also be detected it might take a little more time because CDs are slow uh, but it will be do the exact same thing you'll see the CD icon out here and a little entry here and it, depending on what kind of uh, CD it is if it's a movie CD it'll be music if it's a, or a movie CD it'll be uh, it'll open up with a movie player and if it's a music CD it'll be asked uh, let's say what do you want to do with this you put in an audio CD what do you want to do with it so you can open it straight from the rhythm box music player and just play it or you can simply go into the actual thing and copy and paste the music files in here or you can of course up here it says these files are on an audio CD, just press open rhythm box to play the files. And that's basically how that works. Very simple and intuitive. And again, to eject it, just press the eject button here, and it'll be ejected from your computer. So what else can you do? We've already uh, managed our files and devices. <coughs> we can do other things, such as um, going on the network down here. Now, the networks are uh, depending on what you do but the main networks will be in this Windows network folder because they're using the Windows protocol. Uh, if you have networks around you that are connected to the same wireless as you, you can access them simply by going in here. And now we have the Vantage here and a work group here. 
Going into workgroup are uh, different workgroups that are available. This is my own computer, and this is the printing uh, availability for the network. You will need the user to actually log in to actually print, because you're basically connecting to the computer, to my computer. But whenever you connect to a network, you will have different available depending on where you are. How can you make your own, let's say sharing files? Well, let's go ahead and do this. Go into your user, right click on the public folder, press the sharing options, and a little window will pop up. Simply do share this folder. For you, a little pop up will come up to install a necess necessary um, basically information. Just go ahead and install those, and when, once that's done, you will see that you'll be able to share this. You might have to restart, but once you do, you'll be able to share this. You can rename it to whatever you want. Uh, you can put a comment to it. You can allow others to create and access this folder. And you can actually get guest access for people without a user account. So anyone can log into this folder. And we'll show you how that works. And now you'll see these two arrows depicting that it's being shared. Now going back to network, going to Windows Network, going to the work group, Chris's laptop, and here we are, there's public. Next I'll show you uh, connecting to a server. It's basically the same idea. You're connecting to a external server that's not on your network, but it's maybe on a website somewhere. And you can do this with this piece here. Uh, you can do different things like uh, SSH, Secure Shell, FTP, Windows Share, and so on. This is for more professional use. I wouldn't recommend using this unless you know, but this is an easy way to connect to a server online. Basically put the server URL here, the port, and the folder to use, and you can add this as a bookmark. Put the book Bookmark name here and it'll be shown in the bookmarks over here. That's basically how that works. You can get help from this button here too if you really want to get this going. Next is searching for files. They're very simple. Uh, it can be a very easy search. Simply put in the document's name and it'll come out with a few uh, files that pertain to have the name, the very name that has document in it. Now you can see these files have document as well. Uh, it can be a lot different. You can look in different folders. You can see here, you can ch choose other with this here. But you can choose the main folders, bookmarks in here. You can select more options, such as uh, if it'll start like this. You have more options available to you here. You can do whichever one you want. Just press add. Then you're able to search for whatever the document contains some sort of text. If it's a Word file, you can simply search for the text that's inside the file. And it'll search for it and find it for you. So it can be a very simple uh, search or it can be a very very advanced and accurate search as you can see. So I'm going to go ahead and remove that and done. So let's make it easy. Next part here is the recent documents. Uh, how does this work? This basically keeps track of the documents that you've opened lately. Uh, basically anything that you've opened documents, movies, music, files, documents, word, files, whatever, everything will be in here. Simply clear recent documents, clear and now you will see that it's uh, darkened and there are no recent documents available. One thing I want to show is the computer. Computer is basically anything that's plugged into your computer. As I'll show you uh, when I plug in my SD card again, it'll be available right here. Now we also have other things as well. The CD drive which is empty, the file system, which this is basically the very beginning of the Ubuntu system, and this little extra partition on the same hard drive that I'm using right now. I'll explain this partition. Uh, basically, if you have Windows on your computer and you're dual booting, meaning that you can pick between Windows or Ubuntu, you can simply access Ubuntu by picking this disk. Uh, it'll be different for you, it'll be a different name and so on. Maybe it might say Windows on it, maybe it might say something else. But if you have this disk that's different from this file system, then most likely you'll be able to access those files. Simply double click and you'll be where those files are at. You can of course eject it as well. And the file system, simply put, this is the very beginning. Uh, consider this as a forward slash when looking at computer terms. After that, we will have the home, which is where all our users are. And you can see there's all our users. We can go into user, and here we are back to the very beginning, the home folder of this user. So that's basically how that works. I've shown you how to do a lot of things. One more thing is the trash. Simply put, when you delete something, you move it to trash, and it'll be populated inside the trash. Click on the trash. There's a file. You can move it out. Uh, just in case if you accidentally deleted it or of course if you really meant to delete it just empty trash and now it's completely gone from your computer. 
thanks uh, that's how it works thank you for watching I hope this was intuitive easy to understand and you learn a little bit more about how to use your files thank you for watching my name is Chris and I'll see you later